Anger leads to death. Anger leads to death. And if you don't believe that, you have an anger problem, keep on that path and you'll see. The other day I was looking at, it was a news clip, and I was talking about this young lady that was shot and killed in front of a bodega in New York City. The bodega, for those of you that don't know, it's like a corner store. You just go there to get little things. It's not a grocery store. It's like going there to get some sandwiches or just pick up some quick items. And so they showed a video. They had a video that was in the store showing that she got into some sort of a altercation with this gentleman. They were looks like an argument. But you can literally see her like pushing this guy you know looks like she may be standing somewhere where he needs to pass but he's moving and she's pushing him back you see her pushing back like you know she used one hand and pushed him back at least twice i saw her do that she put her hands on him and he's you know he's they're arguing you can't hear because it's just one of those surveillance where you're just seeing you know action but i don't know what happened but I can look from where I'm at and I can tell, you know, I grew up in Brooklyn. I knew I grew up in New York. I know, I know this, these girls right here where, you know, they did just get amped, you know, what's up, son, blah, 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 talking back, da, 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 they doing all of that, <laughs> you know, they're not, they have no fear, their heart don't pump no Kool-Aid, all of that, all of that, yada, yada. And you know, these girls sometimes are ready to fight. They will fight you. They're going to fight a man. They're going to fight a woman. You know what I'm saying? They fight puppies and kittens. It doesn't matter. You get them riled up. You're going to get beat. Period. But guys, that attitude leads you to the one. Remember I spoke about that before. For those of you that watch my videos. No matter what your behavior is. Well, no matter what your habit is. If you don't get out of it. You get better at it, you get better at it, you get really, really good at it, but it's going to lead you to that moment. That's what it's for. That's why you perfect it. The devil make you perfect it, make you think you got away with it, you know, tell you all kinds of narratives like, yeah, 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 all of that. You learn how to get around stuff, but it always sets you up for that moment where you're going to get taken, you're going to get snatched up all out of this world because of it, because sin leads to death, Period. It leads you to a point where if you're stealing, you've been used to getting away with it, you're going to get to a point, you're going to get caught, you're going to go to, first you went to juvie, then you go to jail, then you got away, you got out, blah, 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 and then you end up being in prison for the rest of your life. Or you you keep going and all of that, and then you meet somebody where you're trying to rob them as usual, but they kill you. So in this case, there's this girl, they get into an argument about whatever, and you see her just you know, her in the sky, I can tell you from what I saw, she looked more ant than he was. Because he was just standing there. And you can see her friends trying to pull her back. Her friends are pulling her back. Now, the guy's still just standing there. He's look like a big, tall dude. She, Her friends are pulling her back, and she's, you know, shrugging her friend off, and she's just blah, 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 talking, whatever she's saying. And this goes on for a bit. And then it was like, they just show, like, the girl left out the store talking and all of that and you see a few seconds later you see the 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 people in the store whoever just rushing to the door to look out you don't see what happened outside the store but still the surveillance in the store is showing people momentarily running to the door and looking out turns out this guy shoots and kills this females this female she shot and killed dead fell dead in front of the bodega and you know, the store, like the news, of course, shows a clip of her just, you, you know, you just see her covered up under a sheet. That's all you see. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? No. There's nothing that could have happened in that store that could have been worth that. And guys, what you have to realize is this. Anger, not being able to control your anger, feeling that like you always got to fly off the handle, you got to talk back, you got to let them know what's up. 
You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. This is what it is. It's just not worth it. You could talk back all you want. And you may, at that moment, you can get away with it. And based on her behavior, this, this ain't her first rodeo. That is not her first rodeo in those type of arguments. She was just too good with it. You could tell. But life has a way, oh my goodness, of, of, of having funny turns in it. Because what sin does, maybe she's always been that way, you know, get flared up. And these dudes be like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Maybe other guys were like, okay, whatever. <laughs> all right, mom, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it just goes out when she pushes them and ray, ray, and carry on. And, you know, yeah, all right, it's over. But it leads you to that one person. That he'll let you talk. Because it looked like this guy was just, all right. He was like, hey, I'm about to finish you. Go ahead and talk because this is about to be your last conversation. Go ahead and, yeah, push me. Go ahead. Do all of that. Because that's the last, this is the last moment you're going to use your hands. You see? And whether it's that situation or any other situation, guys, anger leads you to destruction. Either you end up hurting somebody because his anger too, even though his was slow and simmering, it led him to murder. It led him to murder. And from what I saw, I don't know the whole story, but looking at it based on what I have, so therefore it's just my opinion, it looked like she was like not letting this slide. But nevertheless, did he have to kill her? Nope, but he did. So guys, understand this. Anger leads to destruction. The outbursts that you may have right now in your life, the things that you're doing, the way that you're talking, the people that you may be able to intimidate and beat them up and, and talk back and you, you're nice with your mouth and people shut down and, and you like it. It leads you, if you don't stop, it leads you to that person. All the people that you've defeated so far, all the people you hurt their feelings, all the time like it's whatever, it's whatever, and you get hype and you get more brazen and you're like, I don't care, it is what it is. The more you do that, you will reach a time and a place in your life that you're going to meet that person, the person that has been sent to take you off the face of the planet. Because you got to know anger is a spirit. That's why you can't control it when it happens. If you allow it to flare up and, and you allow yourself to continue to just behave a certain way, I'm trying to tell you that spirit is going to lead you to your death because there's principalities and powers, guys. If you read Ephesians chapter 6, it talks about that. The principalities and powers, the rules of the darkness of this world, you start off with little demons, little spirits, you know, getting you hyped, then you get more, you get better at it, it takes you to the next one, but they all work together because you're going to meet a more wicked more volatile person than you at some point these individuals will meet somebody that's more volatile than them that has a bigger demon than this demon and this spirit's whole thing is to use this person to just take you out and you know what when you rise up out your body you're gonna see them spirits that you've been playing with all your life and they're not saying welcome home we've got apple pie that's not how that's gonna go so guys, anger is something, yes, it can be hard, but you must have a willingness to pray and ask God to help you with that. Take deliberate steps not to go in situations where it sparks your anger, watching TV shows that sparks your anger, video games that sparks your anger. Everything is not worth an answer. You don't always have to be certain things you could walk away. I'm telling you, I know me. I can definitely defend myself and I know how to get down if I need to. But what am I, what am I doing that for at my age? First of all, I have things to live for. I don't have time for that. I do not have time for that. And some things I just don't need to respond to it. I don't. It's okay. Yep. You say what you say. It's all good. I don't need to respond to you anymore. And sometimes I should just stand there and just do a little laugh like, <laughs> all right. But even that can spark anger. You know what I mean? So I learned, mm -mm, let me go about my business. I know in my old days, yeah, yeah, I would have, I would have done a, made a Picasso painting out of your face. But that's not, you know, would have been some abstract art going on. But that's not important. That's not who I am anymore. And I'm not going to let the enemy use me 
to hurt someone and get hurt because I'm not gonna always gonna be everybody up that's not there's gonna be somebody that's tougher and more crazy and I'm not doing that anymore and that's not who I am anymore I don't identify with that thing with me I didn't have anger problems so much it was like I was a person out it would take me so long to get mad at you but when I did I would snap off so I probably if I had kept on I would have been like that guy because he was he looked like he was saying stuff but he was just he seemed more calm than the girl was but he was like boom here we go yeah go ahead and take that okay so guys understand that anger leads to destruction if you have an issue with it that's something you need to go to the lord and pray about ask him to forgive you ask him to help you they're christians who say that they're believers of god and they are blowing up at home they just keep it hidden they just terrorize their own kids and all these different things but guys god sees everything you've got to stop that anger leads to murder anger leads to destruction and those of you just angry and volatile at home what you do is you frustrate your kids and you lead your children to wrath remember the word of god says fathers provoke not your children to wrath and if it goes for fathers i know it goes for mothers too because even though you're the worst thing is you'll be bullying and being so angry and mean to your children they can't talk back to you they can't do anything so what happens is it's it opens up their heart to where they're frustrated and they feel so mad and so angry and they go to their room and all these stuff thoughts enter into their heads and into their hearts and that's how that child can go to school being a bully go into life being really mean can't have loving relationships because of the things that you're doing to them to them and then further frustrating them by doing all that evil and mean stuff to them and then having the audacity to take them to church and they watching you shouting and raising them same violent hands to god that you're gonna put back on them later on after church you know what i mean so let's just pray and just ask God to help you with that because I guarantee you anger is a setup. It is a setup that you may be doing all your life and it's going to set you up for that one person that has a more wicked and evil and demonic spirit that's sent to stop you in your tracks. All right.